Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So today I wanted to do a video response to a comment that I got on one of my videos, a, <laughs> a somewhat not popular video, which I'm actually glad I made that video because I got a lot of people to unsubscribe that are really just kind of trash people that were taking up space on this channel. And, uh, you know, if that offends you, you've probably unsubscribed. But, you know, people that have a very negative attitude that basically don't want to improve themselves, that don't want to help other people, that don't have gratitude for the awesomeness that is life, I, you know, I, you know, if you want to stick around and hopefully like change your attitude and, and maybe you want to become the kind of person that actually cares about growing and helping other people grow, that's great. But if not, then, you know, you can get fucking lost. And, and that's just how it is, right? I mean, I, I would like to help everyone who wants to help themselves on this channel. But if you don't see the value, you don't see, you don't appreciate that. You're just here to whatever cause trouble. Eh, I don't really care if you're a subscriber or not, honestly, right? So, uh, you know, you, you can't do things to please the world. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to talk about, oh, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, I am wearing my Trust the Process shirt today. So uh, if, you, if you wanna get one, right? If, you, if you're all about what I just said about being the kind of person who does believe in it, maximizing their potential and getting the most out of life and wants a reminder of one of the important things I talk about on this channel all the time, trusting the process, you can get a Trust the Process shirt here uh, a lot of people, I, I've, I haven't seen one in the wild yet. I would love to like see one in the wild. A lot of you have sent me pictures of you wearing the Trusted Process shirt, which is uh, pretty awesome. So anyway, I just wanted to, to say that. So, all right, so I got this this comment on, what was this? This was this this controversial video about don't say video begins at, which you can you can check out here. And anyway, in this video, or on this on this video, there was a comment chain, uh, you know, and and Ni Niaxi Ben said, as if I have a problem with your authority to ban people or delete comments for any reason. I take issue with your decision to do so, not the legality of you doing so. People defend freedom of speech because it's important. It was established in the Constitution because it is important. And people like you use the power that they have to suppress it and try to control people. Should the First Amendment have been established in the Constitution by the Founding Fathers, fathers at all? Shit, it was their country. They had the power to do what they wanted with it, but they didn't because they deemed it a fundamental human right. So you're saying that it's, this isn't a freedom of speech channel then. You're going to ban people for posting time codes. Go ahead, I can't stop you. But I can't promise that people will continue to take your supposed attempts to create open dialogue about your controversial topics seriously if your comments section doesn't even support free speech. Why go to John's channel to talk about anything important when I can just go to one that supports free speech? So I thought this was interesting. I mean, this is obviously somewhat of a troll on the channel, obviously. But I think, I think there's some interesting points here. And I, I think it's worth discussing, right? Because, you know, what does it mean to have free speech? And where does the, the limits, where are there limits of free speech? So here's the thing, okay? So I'll give you kind of the libertarian view of this. If it's my personal private property, okay? So for example, my channel on YouTube, you don't have free speech, right? You're, you, <laughs> I, I have control over the comment section. And here's the thing. I pretty much don't delete comments on this channel. I delete spam comments that have links in them. If you put a link on, on there and it's spammy, I'll delete it. And occasionally I may delete some kind of hate speech that what I consider to be really just, just blatant, just disrespect or abuse, right? But for the most part, I let you put a comment there if you wanna look like a jackass, all right? And if you wanna call me names and stuff, that, that's fine, all right? But I will delete comments that detract from the video or ones that, like I said, if I tell you don't put video begins at, uh, you know, I, I don't care, like you can skip videos, I don't, I don't care, or skip advertising, I don't even care about that. But if I ask you to not do that on my channel, I'm gonna delete that. And that's not a violation of free speech. There's no free speech in, in making a shortcut to skip a, to a certain section of my video. Right, that's uh, is fully within my rights. But it, it's funny, I think, how so many people have this. They feel like they have rights that they don't own. You don't own rights. 
on someone else's property, right? You can say, well, I'm free to walk everywhere I want and walk into someone's lawn and think that you have rights to do that. You don't have rights to walk on their property, right? You don't have rights to come into their living room and take a shit. And when some of you, you know, not you, but you know, some people, right? I'm not gonna say you, because if you're watching this, uh, you know, I appreciate you. And I think that you're probably not the kind of jackass that would do this, but some people will come into my channel and they'll leave some nasty ass comments. They're essentially shitting on my lawn or, or shitting in my living room in the in the flower pot, okay? And you know, when you do that, here's another thing to expect that I'm gonna have a pretty harsh response, right? I mean, you're welcome here, right? And you're welcome to this channel and this is all about developing yourself and, and self-growth and, and helping other people, right? Honestly, this is what it's about, yes, does this, is this a business? Does it make money? Yes, of course. But I can tell you that I'm not making two videos, two plus videos a day uh, because I'm making a shit ton of money by doing that, right? The primary motive here is really to build a business that is able to help people at the same time. I thought it was interesting just, you know, just some of the reactions, some of the, the entitlement, I think that is going on in society, that, that someone would actually think that they have the right to have free speech, right? To say whatever they want to say in someone else's property, right? As if it's public. Now, I am totally 100% for, for free speech. And like I said, even on this YouTube channel, right? I mean, I read that comment, okay? And I didn't delete that comment. And I don't delete comments that say negative things about me, right? So I leave most comments there, right? There's a very few small number of comments that I delete. Now I could, I would be well within my rights right, actual rights, not perceived rights, to delete whatever comments I want on, on this channel, right? And you should assume that people do do that on their YouTube channels because they have the, the rights to do that. But I think you can probably see by some of the negative comments, someone just just made a, a comment on my YouTube channel. I forgot, they on one of the videos, they, I just saw it and they just said, I hate you, you Jew, or something. <laughs> I'm not Jewish at all, but hey, whatever. I mean, uh, you know, and, and someone made a, a comment on one of my videos that said, uh, I wish you would have gotten shot in the Las Vegas shooting when you were there. So, you know what? I love those because I don't really give a fuck, right? Because I really value that people can have open dialogue. So, you know, just to let you know that most of the comments that people leave, even when they're nasty, they're staying on the channel. Okay, so, but it doesn't mean that I'm not deleting any comments. I'll be totally frank with you. Everything that I do on this channel and everything I pretty much do in my life, I live pretty much out in the open. I live as genuine and transparent as possible because that's one of the high values that I hold in life. I'd say that probably the number one value that I hold in life is personal freedom, right? I have a playlist on freedom you can check out there. And the second one that I have is being genuine and transparent. Right? Everything that I want to do in life, I want to be as genuine and transparent as possible because I, I feel like it's really, really important to, uh, to be that way if I'm going to teach others, if I'm going to mentor others, if I'm going to help others along the way. And also just, you know, it's so much easier for me to sleep at night when I know that I'm being genuine, that when I say something, when I put out a video, when I talk about something, I'm being transparent. You can see exactly what's going on. There's no smoke, there's no mirrors, there's no hidden ulterior motive, right? If I have sponsors, it's so I can make money on the channel, of course, of course, okay? But when I tell you that the reason for making the money is not so I can drive around in a Lamborghini, but it's so that I can actually grow and build the channel more and be able to do more things, that's honest as well, okay? So let me feel like you should have free speech and the right to say whatever you want in someone else's living room, in someone else's channel. You might want to watch that because it's it's not true. It's not, uh, you know, and uh, it, it's, there's, there's no reason to expect that on someone's private property that you can just say or do whatever you want. It, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. It's a, it's a horrible concept, right? You, you, <laughs> in public, yes, you should have free speech. Should the government restrict your speech? No, right? Should we try and create open dialogues for people and not censor people? Of course, I agree with that, uh, but no, no, there's an extent to that. And there's, uh, there's a reason why that, uh, that, private property rights exist. And that's so people can defend those rights. And, you know, like I said, I, I, I see it as taking a crap on my lawn when you come in here. And most of the time I let you, most of the time I'm like, you know what, fuck, go ahead, go ahead. And you want to do that. You want to look like a jackass or whatever. But, uh, but if you do, if you do take a crap on my lawn, uh, by the way, uh, and I'll do a video on this, I have this scheduled at some point, but 
And don't expect me to be a nice guy about it. I don't have to be friendly. I, like, I don't have to be fucking anything that I don't want to be. I don't have to be friendly, okay? I am a pretty friendly guy. Like, if you don't rub me wrong, if you're here and you authentically want to contribute to a conversation or you disagree with me or you want to have some kind of dialogue or whatever it is, I'm, I'm fucking shooting the shit with you. I'm fine. We're cool, right? But if you come in here and you disrespect me, don't expect, don't expect, don't say, hey, John, I, I, I expect you to take the high road. Fuck that. When you come at me, I'm going to come at you. All right. That, that's, that's how it is. All right. You can like it. You don't have to like it. That's me. And that's, that's how I'm choosing to live my life because that's authentic. That's genuine. And some of you can't handle that. That's fine. You don't have to, you don't have to be here, but uh, you know, don't, don't expect me, you know, you punch me in the face. You're going to see what happens, right? <laughs> you're going to see what happens, right? It, it's not going to be, it's not going to be what you, what, uh, what some of you might think that it's going to be. All right. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know, again, you know, I appreciate all of you that subscribe to the channel and those of you that are interested in expanding yourselves and helping other people. There's so many of you, most of this community, by the way, is awesome. Most of you on this simple programmer channel are awesome and uh, I appreciate you. I love you guys, honestly, but you know, there's a few bad apples and it's great when I get to make one of these videos that pisses off a bunch of people that need to be gone anyway because it just makes the community better. It makes it stronger. I'd rather have my subscribers cut in half, okay, and have quality people that are here for a good reason than to have it doubled or tripled and have a bunch of shit people that don't care about improving themselves just want to cause trouble and you know, and don't want to help anyone else in life either. So anyway, that's all I got for you today. Make sure you get a, a Trust the Process shirt if you don't all have one already because I would love to see, if I see you in the wild wearing one of these shirts, if it's not orchestrated, okay, I will have something for you. So just, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a pretty rare occurrence, but I mean, people every once in a while, probably about once a week, someone recognizes me on the street. So you could just be that person wearing the Trust the Process shirt and that'd be pretty fucking cool. I'll, I'll definitely hook you up if, if that happens. And we'll probably, you'll probably actually make it on the channel because we'll probably do some video together or something like that. So anyway, if you want to get the shirt, you can check it out in the cards below and the links as well in the description. And that's all I got for you today. Take care. Oh, hey, subscribe.